Good morning, everybody. Traffic time with Jeffy Bear. We're back in Squamish. Say hello, Fred. Say hello, Bob. Yeah, I got another guy named Fred. <laughs> no. Say hello, Bob. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what to feel. The uh, Squamish, I love, like, I, I like Squamish, but it doesn't feel the same. I guess with everybody being other places and the state of emergency were all in, I didn't, I've never felt the state of emergency until I got to Squamish. So I went in last night to, uh, um, Walbert and the cupboards were bare. I couldn't find any meat, they were all gone. So, yeah, I have a thing of mixed emotions, but uh, the sunshine's nice out here when it's sunny. Uh, it's already over there, as you can see. But yeah, Bob and I are just sort of like chilling at our, at our old spot. There was a few people in the parking lot last night, but you know, we got up, well, we got up earlier than normal and we left. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for that. Yeah, I want to welcome on board all the new, all the new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, I know a lot of you have come from Chrome's channel. Uh, and thank you, Chrome, for that. And, yeah, uh, I don't know, today, well, yesterday before I came up here, I was able to go take a shower. I was good. I was, uh, I was able to stop uh, my buddy's place, uh, BC Donnie's, uh, for fish and chips. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff going on in there. Um, not at the fish and chip place, but, uh, Horseshoe Bay. I guess they're, uh, filming a part of Nancy Drew Mysteries or something. Yeah, so the whole place is like packed and there's no parking and, but it was fun, you know, we, we sat around chit chatted for a while. I bumped into a guy that we met uh, last year about this time when we were at Porto Cove. Joseph, Emmy, Chrome, myself. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, there was a guy that uh, met us I think he's from, I'm not sure where he's from. Well, he's from around here somewhere, but yeah, he, he has a van, but he doesn't live in it full time. But when he's doing these shoots, he stays in it, which is a lot easier than driving back and forth. Uh, so yeah, so I met him again coming, you know, just walking down, <laughs> walking down the street to get to the fish shop. I met him one more time. It was kind of cool. We talked for a few minutes and then, uh, yeah. He, he went back to his van or back to work, and I uh, w went to eat. Yeah, I just said uh, I was having problems with my camera, and I think I got it fixed. Well, I think they might be back. <laughs> my film just cut off, so. Yeah, I only got a certain amount of money. I'm on, a, I'm on a tight budget. I got a certain amount of money for the month. And then, uh, yeah, so... I can't, you know, I can't always afford like butter at five dollars a pound or whatever in a brick. Uh, sometimes I have to buy margarine, but I try to buy the good stuff. When I had my heart done, they said Bay Cell, virgin olive oils in it, whatever. So I try to buy that, last longer. I know, don't frown about the margarine, but that's what they tell you at the hospital when you have a heart attack. So I'm just following that. And sometimes, you know, I don't always get the right meat, but uh, I gotta get the stuff to last a little bit. And uh, that's what I do. So, you know, I can't always eat top of the line stuff, but on occasion, as you will see, like, you know, I had steak the other night and I bought a couple of extra pork chops. So yeah, I do my best with that when it comes to that. But on that note, you know, like I said, I'm on a tight budget and uh, I only got a certain amount of money. I only get paid twice a, twice a month, usually on the 6th and usually on the, on the 28th of each month. Uh, 
and I and, and that and that'll be good for well that'll I'll be I'll be getting that for for the next year or so. Uh, once I turn four uh, fifty, uh, once I turn sixty four, I only got till sixty five, and then I get the boot boot, and then uh, hopefully all this stuff will kick in at that time. Bob and I are going to head back to uh, North Vancouver. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more, well, I don't want to, I don't want to drive back and forth, but the sun's out today. I was able to come out here, get some uh, juice into my batteries, take the van for a run, clear my head, because uh, I love moving. And, uh, yeah, I get a little bit, uh, I get a little antsy. Hey, Bob, we got a little antsy just sitting around? Yeah. Bob and I get a little antsy just sitting around. So, no, we decided to take a run out here. But it sure is different. I mean, Squamish is still Squamish, but without all my friends around, you know, it's just, yeah, well, yeah, it's different, you know. Feel much better when I, I know there's other people around, you know, and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of people I don't know them all, but uh, and I'm sure I'll meet I'll meet a lot of them on the road. That's for sure. But uh, for now, I just think I'm gonna go back to North Vancouver, chill, uh, and just take it easy. There's no use to run around. I can find a parking spot, and stay there. Uh, doesn't take much gas to move around. So, yeah. That 30 liter thing's all right, because every time I go somewhere, I fill up, which ain't expensive on the pocketbook, but, you know, it keeps my uh, keeps my van and keeps my diesel filled to the top, so I'm okay that way. Anyways, we're going we're gonna to hit the road, come along for the ride, and I'll uh, talk to you all later. Thanks for watching again. I'm trying. 